Does your phone not ring when someone calls? Hello friends, I am Max. In this video, I will guide you through 10 solutions to fix the iPhone not ringing problem. So, let's watch the video at the end and get your phone ringing again and fix for all the time. Here are some reasons on the video screen that prevent the iPhone from ringing for incoming call problems. First is turn off silent mode. Turning off silent mode helps you receive important calls and notifications. So, let's see the steps. Swipe down from the top right corner to open the control center. Tap the bell with the slash icon to turn off silent mode. That's it. Alternatively, you can turn off silent mode using the action button. The latest iPhones don't have a traditional physical silent switch. Instead, Apple has introduced the action button to switch between different modes. I press the action button to turn off silent mode on my iPhone, and it shows that it is in silent mode. Now, short press the action button to turn off the silent mode. You may feel haptic and see the ring icon on the dynamic island. That's it. You should also check and turn off airplane mode swipe down from the top right corner to open the control center. Check if the airplane mode is on. If yes, tap on the airplane icon to turn it off. You can do the same thing from the settings app. Launch the settings app, turn off the toggle next to airplane mode, and that's it. If your iPhone is silent and not vibrating on incoming calls, it might connect it to AirPods or other Bluetooth devices. So, you need to turn off Bluetooth, launch the Settings app, and navigate to the Bluetooth section. Turn off the toggle next to Bluetooth. That's it. Another setting that affects ringing for a specific time is turning off the Do Not Disturb or Focus Mode. You may have enabled Focus Mode on your iPhone. To do so, swipe from the top right corner to open the control center. Here, you can see the focus mode option. Tap on it to check if it is enabled. Then, tap to turn off the focus mode. Also, delete any schedule focus enabled under the Do Not Disturb. Launch the Settings app and scroll to Focus Settings. Tap on Do Not Disturb, scroll to Scheduled, tap on it, then turn off the toggle or delete schedule. That's it. You may not hear when your iPhone rings due to low ringer volume, so check the ringtone volume. Launch the settings app on your iPhone. Swipe up and tap on sounds and haptics. Make sure the slider for ringtone and alerts is turned up. Hey, also, turn on the toggle next to change with buttons to avoid accidentally lowering the ringtone volume. If you still cannot receive phone calls, check your phone settings. On your iPhone home screen, open the Settings app, swipe to the bottom, and tap on the App section. Swipe up and find the Phone option. After that, swipe up to the Silence Unknown Callers option and toggle it off. This setting will allow all incoming calls from your contacts and unknown callers. Moreover, check Call Forwarding Settings. If it is on, your iPhone may not ring. So, swipe to the Calls section. Go to Call Forwarding and turn it off. If you have mistakenly added your friend's number to blocked calls, swipe up and tap on Blocked Contacts. Then, swipe right to left to unblock. If it's available in the phone app's recent list, tap the I button next to the contact and select Unblock Caller. That's it. Sometimes, this might be a bug. Fix it with the Force, Restart, Press and Release the Volume Up button, Press and release the volume down button, and press and hold the side power button until you see the Apple logo on the iPhone screen. Release the power button and wait for the restart process to complete. Then, unlock your iPhone and call from another device to check if it is ringing. Don't miss to keep your iPhone updated to the latest software update. Launch the Settings app on your iPhone and tap on General. Then, tap on Software Update and wait for a moment to check for a software update. If an update is available, tap on Update Now and wait for the download process to complete. 
After installing the new iOS update, check if the problem is solved. If you have a physical SIM, make sure it is inserted properly and functioning. Then, check whether it is working or not. If you face cellular signal issues, try Reset Network Setting. This step helps reset your iPhone's network-related settings to default, sometimes resolving issues. Go to the Settings app and select General. Then, swipe up to the bottom, tap on Transfer, and reset your iPhone. Select the Reset option. Then, tap on Reset Network Settings. If prompted, enter the lock screen passcode. In my case, I am entering my iPhone passcode. Then, confirm the Reset Network Settings and wait for the process to complete. If you have set a screen time limit, check and make it available to everyone. To do so, launch the Settings app, swipe to Screen Time, and tap on Communication Limits. After that, tap on During Screen Time. Here, make sure you have selected the Everyone option. If none of the solutions work, contact Apple Support. Launch the Safari browser and visit the official Apple Support website. Sign in with your Apple ID and write your problem under the Tell Us What's Happening section. Then, follow the instructions displayed on the video screen. You can contact your network provider, read problem-related articles, or contact Apple Support experts via call or chat to solve your problem. That's it. I hope you find this video helpful. I'd love to hear which solution worked for you in the comments section. Sharing your experience can help others facing similar issues. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel for the latest tips and tricks videos.